Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Here are my online picking finds for the last couple weeks. First of all, we have a collection of Japanese coins, and this folder was done probably in the 50s, maybe into the 60s. Here's a list of the coins they have in here. And this big honkin' coin is uh, actually a charm, but it's a reproduction of a charm that was issued probably during the 1700s, 1800s. Here we have a 100 mon coin, an actual coin. And back then the practice was, you know, they used to paste the coins into the album. And we have two fantasy tokens. They were never issued, you know, they looked in the style of from the uh, 18th century, 19th century, but uh, they were first designed during the 1920s and were reproduced you know, during later years like the 50s and the 60s. Actually I had one uh, of my viewers ask me about her um, token that was identical to this. And she, actually she had a whole tree like a, a coin tree of these tokens and these tokens on its own because it's just a fantasy piece may be worth about ten dollars but as a whole cast tree all attached to each other uh, you know that in itself is I guess more like an antique um, which can run into the hundreds of dollars so gave her as much information as I could to identify you know her pieces And then here we have some regular Japanese coinage from the 17 to 1800s. And before Japan had their own currency, they actually imported a lot of Northern Song and Qing Dynasty coins from China. So they actually spent Chinese money in Japan. And they recognized this history by including these coins in this folder. Pretty cool. So I got this set, I believe, about for about uh, thirteen dollars, which I could turn it around during one of the coin shows between eighty to hundred. I'll probably ask for a hundred and see if I get close to that. So pretty good deal. And what you see here, which looks like a whole bunch of clothes pegs, are actually Chinese uh, bamboo tokens or tallies which uh, were used or produced during the uh, late 1900s up to the 1930s. And they were sort of like private money, not issued by the government, but by companies. Because mainly during the 20s and 30s, uh, you know, when there was a lot of warlords and the government wasn't really much in control back then, um, there was a shortage of small change. So companies took it upon themselves to issue their own token money. So these are, I guess, a sampling of basically what's in these two bags. So they would use hot dyes and stamp or burn the marks right into the bamboo and then put a coating of lacquer over it or varnish, you know, you could say. So I got all these. They're all in different grades, sort of basically separate um, into two grades, like better ones versus not so good ones. Um, going according to the condition of the stamp, if it's legible. These four here are going into my own collection. These would be the best ones possible. So it'll basically say like, you know, um, let me see for example, uh, Pacific one penny or one cent. So it might be a company name and saying one cent for denomination. And this is 
Eastern Rise Society Five Fen or Five Five Cents. Uh, sort of like um, uh, calculate copper coin or, or you know or dollar. Can't really read these two. Uh, that's mon or coin. And then Chung Tai um, company. I guess it's the company name. So I got these pretty cheap, I'd say, you know, about a buck each. And I've sold these uh, during the coin shows that I had bought individually, you know, like only had a handful before. And I had sold them for about 20 to $25 each. So it'll take me a while to sell all these during the shows. You know, I won't put out so many. But uh, at the end of the day, I probably get a pretty decent profit. So if I sell, let's say, even two pieces for what I'm, you know, what I expect to get from them, that will pretty much cover, you know, what it cost me for the whole lot. So pretty, pretty good deal. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe. Coin Picker out.